FPS, I will check both of them out. From my point of view, NATO is mostly toothless. So I'm curious to learn how they are the aggressor. I'm also curious to learn how Russia's actions will be justified. NATO, NATO now is regarded as being toothless other than they have nuclear weapons. But NATO is not toothless, right? NATO has resulted, the aggression of NATO towards Russia has resulted in the annihilation of a country, 500,000 dead Ukrainians, hundreds of thousands maimed, 50,000 dead Russians, tens of thousands Russians maimed, economic collapse of Germany, economic demise of Europe, United States running deficits that are last budget the best 1.7 trillion dollars canada is economic fucking wasteland now the homeless here are unbelievable how many homeless we have here meanwhile canada was sending six billion dollars to ukraine nato is not toothless in regards of how much destruction it's unleashing across the globe right NATO is toothless in regards to what it was hyping itself to be the most powerful military in the world, right? It's NATO is how many members? I don't know. It's got most of Western Europe, Canada, United States, Australia, New Zealand, I think is in there. Iceland is in there, which is like lowest IQ thing you ever saw in your life, right? You got a, I don't know how many countries in NATO and Russia just annihilated the NATO proxy army. So in that regards, yes, NATO is toothless, but NATO wasn't regarded to be toothless two years ago. Russia just showed the world that Western world is on the verge of collapse and it is collapsing, it's full of hot air and they are morally bankrupt because they're willing to sacrifice the lives of other people, lives of other nations, for their own selfish agenda the veil has been lifted and what we're seeing right now is the repercussions of what's happening right for example let's do another update let's do another update of our global map 